Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got another Planet Zoo video for you and I know it's been ages since I've uploaded a new video on my channel and I'm really, really sorry about that, but I am so excited to be back and to be creating content for you. I will talk a little bit later on in the video about what I was doing, what I was up to, but before I do, I'll just explain the build a little bit. So this build is a contemporary warthog enclosure and it's for my contemporary African grassland sandbox mode zoo called Anami Zoo and I've currently got several videos for the zoo up on my channel already and they are all in a playlist which I will link in the description box below in this video so in case you're interested in checking out more builds like this one in this style then yeah you can go and click that link and watch those videos if you like and also as always I have linked the blueprint for this enclosure down in the description box below as well so that is on the workshop on the steam workshop in case you wanted to put this habitat in your zoos you can do that and I think I've also created a blueprint separately for the shelter that I made for this habitat so yeah in case you wanted to use that you know in a different habitat that wasn't necessarily for warthogs I thought I would create that separately for you as well and I know this is actually an unpopular opinion but warthogs are one of my favorite animals in planet zoo I just find them so funny because their animations are so cute and they run around and grunt and roll over in the mud. I just find them so hilarious and adorable, but I know that they're not one of the most popular animals in the game, so you might disagree with me there, but I was really excited to add them to my zoo. And as always, I have also included plenty of cinematic shots of the enclosure and of the warthogs playing and some animations and footage of their babies as well. That's all at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around to watch them in case you wanna see some cute animations because they are adorable and I love them so much. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this is the first video I've posted in a while on my channel. I know, I'm useless, I'm sorry. I obviously mentioned in my last video that I was going on holiday for a week or so, and obviously that meant I couldn't post while I was on holiday, but then I was intending to start making videos again, but I got distracted. I mean, I did take a little bit of a break after my holiday as well, just so that I could enjoy some time off. And then then I actually started a mortgage application which is still going on it's really long and stressful process but there were some complications with that which just took a ton of my time and then my car also broke down which meant I had to spend quite a few evenings trying to sort that out and make sure that it was fixed and, and sorted and then I got ill and I had this really bad cold it felt more like a flu to be honest but there's been news in the UK about this really horrible cold that's been going around and it sounded like just like what I had. It was just a really horrible headache, a bit of a temperature, a horrible sore throat, and yeah, just made me feel awful for over a week. And so I didn't feel like sitting up at my computer and, you know, concentrating really hard for hours making content. I just thought, no, I'm going to take the time off. I didn't go to the gym or anything like that. I just stayed in bed basically and watched Downton Abbey. I'd never seen Downton Abbey before and I started watching it because I had nothing else to do and I was just in bed and Netflix kept suggesting it to me because I tend to like that sort of thing, that sort of period drama type program. So Netflix was like really intensely suggesting it at every opportunity. I thought, fine, I'll watch Downton Abbey whilst I'm ill. And oh my God, I immediately became addicted and just binged it for a week straight. And yeah, just watched all six seasons in less than a week. So yeah, if you're a Downton Abbey fan, let me know down in the comments below because I definitely have gone through a bit of a phase recently and would love to chat about it to anyone. <laughs> Maggie Smith's character is just amazing in it. Oh my god, she is just goals. I love her. She's so funny. <laughs> she's such a sass queen, honestly. So anyway, that's basically why I had a little bit of a break from YouTube. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm back now and I'm really excited and I'm feeling super inspired as well because whilst I was away, Planet Zoo announced a new DLC which is going to be a North American animal pack with eight animals coming in October the 4th. 
forth. So I'm feeling so inspired to start making content again, especially to return to my Canadian Animal Park sandbox mode zoo. I currently only have a couple of videos out for that so far, but it's going to be like the perfect zoo for this upcoming pack because obviously all of the animals are going to be sort of Canadian or North American and yeah, just perfect for that zoo basically. So the trailer announcement is out at the minute and shows off some of the animals, including I think they've got American beavers, moose, mountain lions, Californian sea lions and American alligators as well. And apparently in addition to those, we are also getting black-tailed prairie dogs, the Arctic fox and the American bullfrog as well. And I'm super excited about all of these animals. I think I'm most excited for the beavers, moose and mountain lions. And I'm also glad we're getting sea lions because we already have seals in the game and I did really want to have both. And I'm also excited about the Arctic fox because they'll be really cute and I feel like they should have been in the Arctic pack but weren't. I'm assuming they might have been quicker to make now rather than previously because we also have the fennec foxes and they might have been able to share some animations or they're going to be like at least pretty similar so somehow that sort of sped up the process of making the animal. I don't know, might be, might be the case, might not be but yeah. And I also had no idea what black-tailed prairie dogs were until I googled them and I fully expected it to be uh, like a wolf-like animal or a dog basically or a fox based on its name obviously and I was gonna moan because I didn't think we should have two dog or fox-like animals in one pack so obviously we will have the arctic foxes as well but I was very surprised to see that they were in fact rodents not dogs and I have no idea if they're the same thing as gophers but if you're like me and have no idea what they are then to me they kind of look like a gopher they might not be I'm not sure now I'm from the UK and we don't have either in the UK so I'm not really that familiar with them but yeah when I saw a picture they they just look like gophers to me so I am really excited about this pack it's definitely been a long time coming for most of these animals and I know a lot of creators are sad that it's an animal pack and not a pack with more build items but honestly I think having more animals is more important than having more build items so I'm really excited and I've also taken two days off after the pack's release date to make sure that I have time to make tons of content for you I know that's not going to be enough it's going to take me absolutely ages to make some of the builds for some of these animals I've got my work cut out for me but I am really excited so yeah the release date like I say I think it's October 4th so yeah keep your eyes open for new content from me using that pack and let me know what you're excited about down in the comments below if you are looking forward to one animal in particular which animal are you most excited about let me know I would love to hear your opinions I feel like most people are looking forward to this pack because yeah they've been asking for it for a long time so <laughs> hopefully you're excited as I am about this pack but before I go I will actually talk about the build a little bit I know I sort of introduced it as a warthog enclosure but I didn't really say anything about what I'd been building or what I had in mind so obviously I am trying to do it in the same contemporary style and I went back into an Ami zoo to make this after a little bit of a break and I was kind of annoyed that a lot of the textures and colours are looking a bit samey now and I didn't like the idea of having to use that timber effect again and I was getting a bit frustrated with how to do the walls I didn't really know what I wanted and so I mostly just put rocks these fake rocks around the outside of the build or to like border it off and I think it looks really good in the middle section so where I've had those like little planted areas and it gives a nice shape to the warthog enclosure itself but behind the shelter I add some rocks instead of a wall and I just think it looks a bit one toned so the the rocks are basically the same color as the timber and the timber is the same color as that timber building behind it and I just I don't know there's just too much sandy brown color in it and I feel like the next build I make in this zoo is gonna have to just shake things up a little bit maybe and I'll try and do something new with a few new colors or something and make it really interesting but it's simple enough I do like the shelter on its own in isolation I do like this enclosure but maybe in the context of the whole zoo I feel like it 
it could be a little bit better and I could have thought a little bit more about how to make the back of that enclosure look a little bit better but we'll see I think I need to do some landscaping behind this enclosure to make it look as good as it can be within the context of the zoo so anyway that's it from me I really really hope you like this video I hope you like this enclosure and are excited about the news about the new pack coming up in Planet Zoo so yeah let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments as always I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye guys